Streamerbot. One of the most advanced streaming tools of all time just got its biggest update yet. In this video, I'm going to guide you through all of the changes and everything you need to be hyped for. Make sure to stay until the end when I will tell you how you can get your hands on this update for free as it is currently in beta at the moment. Let's just crack on with it. Press those cheeky buttons down there and put your rock in for the stone. Let's go. Streamerbot is an ultimate toolkit for any streamer. It allows you to take your stream to unimaginable heights. I have done loads of videos on it, so I'll leave a playlist up here and in the description for you to check out later to find out exactly what it can do. This new update is unreal though. Obviously with all software updates there are bug fixes. I'm not really going to talk about that in this video, but here's the patch notes for all the bug fixes so far. Maybe something stands out there for you. There have also been quite a few tweaks to Streamerbot too. A lot of these are behind the scenes, like how your queues are ran and how different data and events are handled. One of the highlights for me are the import and export features, as they have been completely reworked. Now when exporting, you can enter more information such as version numbers. Then when you're importing, you can actually replace pre-existing action, cues and commands, which is huge for me. But that actually reminds me, for all you that use my StreamUp products, these are all being updated to support this new build of StreamerBot. As of right now, I have completed all of the alerts I've made and I also created a new Final Fantasy VIII inspired one too. My Patreon and Kofi members will be able to get access to these before public release. Now, for the main event. What new additions are there? Well, now when commands and actions are disabled, they will show up as red, so you can easily see what is disabled at a glance. You can now use a bot account on YouTube, so now you don't have to send chat messages as yourself anymore. You can add another bot account just like you were able to do on Twitch. There are also new sub-actions that have been added. You can set a queue's blocking state via a sub-action now. This is great if at certain points in your stream you don't want actions to overlap. Then at other times you want it to just be crazy. You can change a Twitch channel point's background colour via a sub-action too. There is a sub-action for replying to a Twitch message. So you can use the message ID to reply to that message. For example, if someone uses a command like exclamation mark social, your bot could reply directly to that message with the answer. Just a super nice quality of life adjustment. There is also now support for Twitch's new hype chat feature. Obviously, I can't really show this off because, well, I'm not a partner. Sag. You can always visit me on Twitch though at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. I'm speedrunning Sonic games right now, so come say hi. There is also a change to Twitch gift bombs. Now when users do a gift bomb, Streamerbot will then automatically compile a list of all the users that were given a gifted sub. I can already think of some cool things to make with this, so make sure you are subscribed if you want to see them. Let's talk integrations. Streamerbot already has so many integrations stream elements voice mod hype rate treat stream like yeah there's loads now there are even more newly added is vtube studio there are currently five sub actions to use with vtube studio you can load model load model by name trigger hotkey trigger hotkey by name and also move model i haven't used vtube studio myself but i'm pretty sure you vtubers out there will love that this has been added crowd control 2.0 has also been added to streamerbot crowd control are still working on their service at the moment so i cannot demonstrate it in this video but streamerbot will be able to react to different crowd control events if you haven't added crowd control definitely go check it out because it will literally make your stream so much more interactive and the viewer engagement is unreal. Elgato Wavelink support has also been added which is huge. Streamerbot is able to react to many different changes in Wavelink via new triggers. Here's a list of everything it can trigger actions by. 
This is great. You can make yourselves a warning if your mic is muted or just something like that. Not only can Streamerbot listen for what's happening in Elgato Wavelink, it can also make changes too. So now in your Streamerbot actions, you can add sub actions to do any of the following. I know, pretty huge. Triggering filters, muting microphones, and changing volumes, and so much more. I honestly love this. Streamerbot is also rocking even more UI and functionality changes. There is now a global variables viewer. Opening this will show you all the variables that are currently stored. You can see both persisted and non-persisted global variables. Persisted means that they are remembered by Streamerbot even after you close down the application. You can also modify the variable names and values by right clicking one and pressing edit. You can also add new ones and delete them too. The filter bar at the top will allow you to search for specific variables easily as well. Streamerbot has its own chat viewer built right into it now as well. But the chat viewer is literally crazy. It will give you easy access to each chat message, but also use that chat message to trigger specific actions. For instance, if I like a message and I want to display it on screen, I could create a Streamerbot command to take the raw input from a message and username then change text boxes directly in OBS. Then when I see a message in the chat viewer, I just click run, simple. You can even create five quick actions for actions you use often. So when you highlight over a message, you can select one of the five actions to trigger. It also has Twitch and YouTube chats built in. Now, for the most requested feature, triggers. Do you remember how difficult it was to make more than one action for something like a Twitch follow? Well, now you don't have to worry. You have a trigger window directly on the action page. This means you can easily set individual triggers for each action. I mean, this is huge. It means you don't have to fumble around in a ton of submenus to set up a simple alert. You are also not limited to just one action per trigger. So. Go to town, baby! Since this has changed, that means tons of those menu tabs within menus, within menus, are now gone, which is just the icing on the cake for me. This streamer bot version is currently in beta, so when you press check for updates, it might not appear. But never fear, I'm here to show you how to get it. All the links you need will be in the description down below. Just jump into the Streamerbot Discord and read all the rules. You know the rules, and so do I. Be cool, alright? Be cool. Then go to the Channels and Roles channel. You can select all the roles that suit you. Right at the bottom, you will see the opt-in for beta testing. Hit yes! This will then allow you to access the beta channel in the Discord. Scroll down to beta releases and you'll see the 0.2.0 beta. Just crack download. I would recommend backing up your old version of Streamerbot, so just copy your Streamerbot folder to somewhere else on your PC and zip that bad boy up. Now, with the new downloaded version, just copy the files in it and replace the files in your current Streamerbot. Open up Streamerbot and bosh! Done! you can now access all these incredible new features. If you have any issues, please share them in the Streamerbot Discord. Those guys are awesome and are always happy to help. Something important to know is that this is in beta and is constantly being changed. So some of the things I mentioned today could be already slightly different, including more features being added too. So just keep an eye on the patch notes when you update. I want to just shout out Nate for being such an incredible guy and making Streamerbot. If you want to show some support, then please consider joining his Patreon to support the development of Streamerbot. If you found this video useful, crack that like button and super dip 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 for more Streamerbot goodness. Speaking of Streamerbot goodness, click just here to see my full playlist on everything about Streamerbot and go have some fun. See you over there, put your rock over the stone.